A random wire antenna. Wow, I recently had a comment on uh, one of my videos that said, you know, if you cut it to a certain length and measured it, it's not a random wire, it's just an end-fed wire. <laughs> well, I, I beg to differ, and uh, I want to explain a little bit what, what I, not just me, many others call the random wire antenna. It's really not random at all. It's an antenna cut to a length that's not resonant and isn't resonant on any of its multiples. Therefore, you can use it as a multi-band antenna. When I say not resonant, I mean on every band that you want to use, uh, from, from 80 down to 10 or, or what have you. Uh, it won't be resonant on any of those frequencies or any multiples for those frequencies. There's a really good uh, website. I'll put a link down here below, and uh, it'll give you probably a better explanation than what I'm doing. I want to just, uh, I've got one up right now. I have it near horizontal. I mean, it's a 35 and a half foot random wire antenna, and uh, I, I, I'm using a 9 to 1 un -un on it, and I've got it near horizontal, and I've had some pretty good contacts with it. It's been a fun antenna to, to play around with. What I want to do is show you that with this random wire, yeah, it's a compromise. It's absolutely a compromise antenna. But with, an, with, a, with a tuner, as what you're doing is you're using the, uh, the un-un to get the impedance down close enough to where you can use an antenna tuner and tune the antenna. With this, how much of a compromise is this thing really? I mean, it, it's... It's, it still works, and it works pretty well, as I want to show you. Um, some common lengths for these are, are, are 29 feet, 35 and a half feet, 41 feet, 58 feet, 71 feet, 84 feet, and so on and so on and so on. There's a good, uh, uh, there's been a program run, and there's a, a bunch of uh, great lengths that, that are in the website, that, the link also that I put below. So what I want to do is, I, I've been using this thing as a horizontal. I want to take it now, I'm going to take it, down and slope it out the window and down to the ground and, and, and test it and experiment with it as a sloper. And then I'm going to take it out of the window, go out and put the uh, un un down on the ground and slope it up and slope it in the other direction. So we'll experiment a little bit with this random wire antenna in different configurations. As you know, I've already done it horizontal. I'm going to play with it now as a sloper. Let's see what kind of contacts we can make. Stick around. Here's the antenna. This is fishing line actually. Going up to an insulator. And there's the 35.5 foot random wire. I've got it sloping down more now. If you saw in my earlier video, I had this thing kicked over more to the left. It's up to the window. There to my uh, 9 to 1 LDG un un. The six and a half foot counterpoise right below it. I still have my uh, random, and I'm sorry, my uh, infed half wave up beside it. Not using it though, just using this antenna. My uh, sloping random wire that I've built 35 and a half feet to an insulator. And like I said, that's uh, that's fishing line. I use that down to get it down and sloping. This one's a sloper now. I want to experiment and see how this thing does at a lower angle. Maybe get a lower takeoff angle as well. Um, I'll take you upstairs. Let's go up to uh, the room there and take a look at the other end of this. And here's the other end of the antenna coming through the window using the uh, LDG one to one as a choke down to uh, the LDG. AT100 Pro 2 Auto Tuner, my FX4CR, little rigs, 20 watts. It's rock and roll. One thing I failed to mention, counterpoise lens. For 35.5 feet and smaller, 6.5 feet seems to be the answer. For longer random wire antennas, a 17 foot counterpoise is a perfect length. I've done this through, not just for, through research, but all, also through testing, and this seems to work just fine. Okay, in this configuration, I made some amazing DX uh, contacts. I wanna show you a couple. I'll give you a warning, uh, these were pretty awesome contacts, and the uh, audio on the other end may be a little hard to hear um, because uh, it was a long ways away. I got up early in the morning and uh, this is what happened. 
propagation exposure to Russia than in farther south into Poland, I'm guessing. Uh, sugar pop is to Cuba for Oscar Go Oscar. You're about a 4 by 5 4 by 5 into West Virginia. Uh, QSL, Jeff, the name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. You're 5x4, five 5x4 by four, five by four into the north of Poland near the Baltic Sea, and I'm only running 20 watts. Twenty, twenty whiskey. Your report is five by five, five by five. Five by five. And how many watts? How many watts are you running over? Twenty. Two zero. Twenty. Roger. Roger, Roger. Cool. That contact in North Dakota is a classic gray line contact. We were both in the gray line and um, wow, what, what an amazing contact for me. Low power to get to North Dakota from Poland. That was a long way and, and quite, I was really excited about that. Okay, now I took the antenna down and, uh, and put it in an in a upward sloping position. So here, here's how I did it. Okay, so bad conditions have been horrible, but uh, I wanted to do this anyway. I'm going to now... Um, Slope it from the other end. So we're going to feed it from the bottom and uh, slope this uh, random wire antenna from the top. So I got all the parts here. I'll put this thing together and see what happens. It's 9 p.m., guys. This is what uh, late May in Poland at 9 p.m. looks like. I mean, it doesn't get dark till almost 11 o'clock right now. People don't realize how far north I am up here near the Baltic. But anyway all the parts let's put this thing together and i'll be right back okay this has been an experience here's uh my long coax in the ground um to the uh one to one and the nine to one with uh, i don't know if you can see it the uh, small counterpoise there um we had a little incident Every pole, I brought three poles to Poland now, and uh, they're all cracking and falling apart. So, on the fly, I made an executive decision, and we got the wire going up to one of the other windows, supporting it. I, I've actually used this window for an uh, off-center fed dipole and a dipole I put out here. So, uh, yeah, nothing new. It's kind of nice. Gives me a nice, uh, nice angle. Nice sloping random wire here in the evening to put this thing up. Um, that's a piece of uh, monofilament lined to a tent, tent stake. I got a few tent stakes here too. I did the other thing on the other side. The, uh, as you can see, the insulator is out about a meter or so. And I took the monofilament line up and over the window and down to the handle to tie it off. So there you go. It is aimed at 240 degrees from uh, from where I'm at, 240. So uh, that would be long path to uh, to Australia, the VK. Now <laughs> the band conditions right now are so bad, I it's just flat everywhere. But hey, hey, who knows? I did this. Everything has a reason, right? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see uh, maybe tomorrow morning when the sun comes up, I can make some contacts. Okay, band conditions were pretty pretty bad at, at this point. Uh, we had a, uh, a a solar event that really just knocked. Uh, the HF radio was horrible through the entire weekend here that I had this thing up. I mean, bad. But um, what was really cool is uh, I was able to make some really, really neat contacts here in Europe. 
And, and some of them with guys that I have talked to um, from across the pond when I was in the United States. It's some really, really super DX contacts. Uh, this first one, you're really going to know if you're a DX or anywhere in the States, maybe anywhere in the world. This guy gets out. But it was really cool to make this contact. Yeah, no. Sugar Papa, stroke, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Yeah, I'm in uh, Poland. Sugar Papa with a prefix here. Thanks for taking the call. It's good to work you from this side of the pond. I've worked you so many times in the States there. Yeah, uh, where are you? I, I didn't get your show. Yeah, Sugar Papa. I'm in the north of Poland near, uh, near Gdansk. QSL, about the same here, about the same temperature here as well. So good to get you in the log from uh, both sides here. I'm here for six weeks working here, and uh, and it's good to hear you here on the bands here on this side of the uh, Atlantic as well. Thank you so much for taking the call. I know you're working some DX. I'll get out of the way there. 73, my friend. Okay, perfect. Well, enjoy the, the Europe for the six weeks, and uh, I bet you will like it. Catch you on the band wall, 73. Thank you. Thank you, 73. Bye-bye. After that, I kept getting really good signals across Europe, and, and the thing was working well. Like I said, band conditions were such that uh, even though I kind of, I was just uh, maybe pipe dreaming and hoping I would make a long path contact over to uh, Australia or, or, uh, or New Zealand. I've done that with verticals here and with uh, very low power and, and done it, but it just didn't work. But uh, here's, a, here's a quick sample of some of the other QSOs I made. Sugar Papa, stroke, kilo for Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yeah, it's Oscar Golf Oscar. The name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm in the north of Poland, near the Baltic, uh, kind of close to Gdansk here. You're a lovely 5 9 signal here today. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, you're five is nine, five and nine as well. There. Thanks for taking the call. I'll let you uh, take some others. Uh, good to meet you, and uh, all the best. Seventy three. Yeah, seventy three, and uh, coming through very well indeed. Uh, bye bye. Yeah, I got the sugar papa stroke, but give me the rest of the call, please. Over. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yeah, okay. Sugar papa stroke, K four, Oscar Golf Alpha. Oscar, uh, thank you, you're five and nine this morning, QSL. QSL, QSL, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango, near Gdansk, Poland, an American near Gdansk. You are five nine as well, just 20 watts here. All right, well, doing fantastic with me, buddy. Big pilot, thank you for calling the Amelia Air Art Station, and we'd appreciate the spot in the cluster, Walt. Take care. So there you go, a random wire, a random wire antenna, or a not-so-random wire. Anyway, a lot of fun. I enjoyed playing with it. Uh, I've tried other lengths before in the past and had some great success right here in Poland. Um, hopefully, um, you, uh, this will spark your interest and you'll do some research on it and maybe build one because uh, they're, they're a lot of fun. They're easy to put up, too, very easy. i got those things up and down in no time. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a great antenna to experiment with. Well, i got a few more weeks here in Poland. Um, I hope you stick along for the journey. i got some other things I want to do. I want to get a vertical up soon because um, that's to me, is the antenna for DX and a low takeoff angle. We're really looking forward to doing that. I'm um, going to get out mobile a little bit too, trying to uh, do a little bit of a mobile. Really want the 10 meter band to open up here. That's what kind of I was... Uh, Kind of thinking, you know, when I got here, I'd be doing a lot of 10 meter ops, but uh, just uh, it just hadn't. Uh, the 10 meter band has not been open here in Poland the whole, pretty much the whole time I've been here. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt SP Stroke K4OGO. Thanks for watching. Uh, 
please like and subscribe and stick, stick around. We'll, uh, we'll do some more uh, learning together and, uh, and experimenting. Till next time. See you, see you later, guys. 73.